What's up? Time for another one. Another one. Today we're going through autopsy. Why am I wearing a jacket inside? It's because it's getting cold as hell in Finland. If you need to get something new warm, head out to this address and make uh, the merch guy all in London I'm very happy. And also, like in the previous video, this is already the mixed version. So big shout out to Dan Lancaster. You're a fucking legend. You did an amazing job. And also Jonas Parkonen, who helped us on the production and who engineered guitars, bass and drums on this one. So thank you, Jonas. You're a legend as well. Autopsy, like the bad idea, started from a demo Nico had done with his brother, Jonas. We actually got so drunk on the studio that we woke up in the morning and we didn't remember we even did the song. Nico sent us a kind of a big demo and then lyrics when we started making this track. And I think we perfectly kept the vibe that the original demo he sent us uh, had. Let's check out the beat that he and his brother made. I think it was 2019 when they made it, if I'm not wrong. I think you can perfectly hear the track and already the first demo sounds awesome. When I got on board and we started to rewrite the track and uh, doing the production, I just started with very simple beat idea, uh, which sounded something like this. I started with kick and snare and this was the original kind of idea. The first things I did. Layered it with another snare. And then I put that, like a drum loop on top of that. Uh, I have no idea where I got this loop, but I just put it on top. And uh, you can hear the same beat in the beginning of the song, but it sounds very compressed, which I did. I like overly squashed it for, for the intro and layered it with like a scary noise. That's really cool. The next thing is I want to do the synths or the kind of the lead synth you can hear in the beginning. We have this extremely annoying elevator close to a place we used to work at and I really got annoyed with the sound that it makes. So I uh, recorded it on my phone. I wanted to use that in a song. So I cut these noises from the, that voice recording and it ended up sounding like this. Kind of cool. That sounded like a synth to me. So I pitched it to the right key, EQ'd it a bit, and then, you know, reverb and a bit of a distortion. What we have in the final version is this. I called it a siren synth. I don't know why. Yeah, that's really cool. That's kind of the main thing in the uh, like in the synth world, in the choruses and the verse. With the beat I just showed you, it sounds like this. Pretty cool. I think this song is very like electronic production heavy if that makes sense. So what we have in the verse is basically just that and then the vocals. So this is what the verse sounds like. This ain't a studio, this is some more, I ain't no Romeo, just another. The microphone we had, which we used, actually this one, this one, we had the gain on it very high, so it sounds kind of you know how it sounds which was kind of cool on this one so we kept it and then we have this amazing uh, scream from Jonas which is look my head's on fire on my torch we didn't want that to sound like a vocal so I was recording here and Jonas was sitting back and then just screaming from his seat so it sounds like this look my head's on fire on my torch other than that the vocals we have Yoel Yo. We locked away our monsters, skeletons in the closets. Bad things don't like to be caged. I need. 
uh, Yoel actually recorded himself for this, so shout out Yoel for doing amazing job. He recorded these harmonies that you can hear on the, the end of the, the clip I just show you. I like to be kidding. I need to That's awesome. There's actually a bunch of layers on these vocals, so let me show you what the chorus sounds like. Autopsy, I'm ill Made of broken stuff Autopsy, I'm Can't shake the way I'm feeling Just give me what I need In the later choruses, we have Yoel singing that part Autopsy, I'm ill Made of broken stuff Autopsy, and this in the middle, you can hear these screamos from, from Nico, which kind of makes it kind of more rocky-ish. Other than that, the song is very simple. Nothing too specific on the drums, to be honest. Tommy didn't have too much to learn on this one, so it sounds like this. The courses before that sounds like this. Very simple, it's basically the same as the last one, but it's just with close hi hat. Other than that, we have the bass, which sounds like this. distorted which sounds awesome talking part where the therapist is talking uh we have only playing the whole thing in the in the background as you can hear Dude, you should okay. smile more. Don't worry. we wanted to keep the bass uh playing there while that part was going on because just created this kind of a cool mood before the last chorus hits. Then we have the, the guitar. We use the same amps as we did on the on Bad Idea. And we also have an awesome lead guitar here as well. Kind of a corny-ish Slipknot vibe. Yeah, that's pretty much it. This is a very simple song, but you know, sometimes you don't need that much stuff to create an awesome song. I mean, I said there's not a lot of stuff, but here's 97 tracks, so there's kind of a lot of stuff, but sim very simple stuff. Let's see what everything sounds like together. It's a open a bad habit of like stacking up productions with synths but on this one as you can see there's only six tracks of synths so not a lot of synthy stuff either that's autopsy uh, let me know if you want to see more of this kind of stuff